Have you ever wanted to make your own uh, operating system? I'm pretty sure all of us at one point have dreamt of it, but uh, not very many people actually have the skills, time, and patience to create their own custom operating system. But there's now a mainstream tool for the average user to create their own Linux distribution in just a matter of minutes. And the site is nimblex.net. Uh, and it's a really neat site. Basically, there's nothing you need to download, um, nothing you need to sign up for. All you have to do is on the home screen, go to custom Nimblex, and you start building your own operating system. Now, there aren't really advanced, like super advanced customization options. Um, but this is our least candidate. This is still on beta. But, like, you don't have uber control, you can't adjust every little thing. But you can sort of personalize it and make it your own and set up different things in it. Uh, so well, let's go next. Uh, there's minimal, custom, and recommended. Uh, custom and recommended are basically the same, except recommended is just going to point out to you which programs you should include. So uh, I usually just pick recommended just for the sake of it. Um, and up here at the top, it shows how big it's going to be. Minimal, it automatically starts at 200. Uh, custom. Uh, starts at 200 and recommended it starts at 428 but you can that'll change as it goes on and if you notice down the bottom left hand corner I already made one a while ago and it's 282 I'm just gonna do this video while it's downloading I'm not gonna wait for it anyway select the categories that interest you uh, office games network graphics multimedia system develop libraries and drivers now, if you check them all it gets really big this is basically a, a full-on uh, system uh, a little bit of everything you can customize this later though uh, if you hover over it, it'll show on the right uh, the program is going to be on it but uh, just uh, if try and have a purpose in mind what do you use your operating system for I'm going to select office network um, multimedia okay that'll work um, develop libraries and drivers don't really concern me next I mean you choose the actual programs um, now I'm gonna do open office uh, and this is basically where you just uh, select your uh, programs so um, you can just check uncheck programs and sort of go through this way so Firefox um, yes I want that remote desktop yes I want that uh, Skype I want that uh, Thunderbird I want that and you basically just go through and check uh, and install the programs you want so you don't have anything that you don't need you have everything that you want and of course it's just like Linux so you can install other stuff and customize it as you go on this is just the basic stuff I actually have this program on my Mac MacBook um, GIMP nah uh, I'm not really heavy into graphics Blender though is pretty cool uh, and this is this, this is fun I mean it's it's a just geeky. Um, I like just the feel of designing. Even though it's not truly designing your own operating system, you're sort of picking programs. Um, it's still really cool. Um, I like this a lot. Um, virtual box, wine. Wine is pretty cool. I'm going to do some wine tutorials maybe uh, in a later episodes, but uh, wine is really neat. Let's see where on Windows apps, but I'll get to that in a later video. Um, G parted. G parted. I don't know why I need that though, unless I'm running it on my actual computer. Python. Ooh, yes. Um, K develop. Nothing else I really need. And here now, now you can pick uh, wallpapers. Just go through a, a bunch of different categories, and it'll basically install. Uh, just um. Oh yeah, you can upload your own wallpapers. Um. I did Paradise in my other one, so I'm just gonna do Fields in this one. I'm not actually, er, I actually the space ones are pretty cool. I'm not, I'm not actually gonna save this one, so um, just do whatever. Um, your volume, just your sound configuration panel, uh, your sounds. You can set your startup sounds and log in, log your sounds, boot audio greeting, all that. Um, next, and then here. Uh, you configure your accounts. So you have the root account, the basic account, and then your um, extra user that'll be just usable in the command line. So you don't really need to care, but uh, root is default by root. Uh, put in a password, just remember your password. Um, and that's all you need to really do and make a username here and a password there and 
go select your language um and you've selected the following modules yep 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 blah blah blah, blah. um your the size of your cd will be 555.00 megabytes go this is the point of no return blah, 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 blah. click the button on the right to start generating no i'm not because that's the end of this video um and i'm just not going to actually make a second one cuz i already made one so uh, that's how to make your basically a, a, a customized Linux operating system um, using a free online tool uh, really easily. Uh, so I hope you liked this video. I hope you learned something. Um, and if you did and you want to see more videos, subscribe. I always have new videos coming out. Uh, and you can also rate and comment on this video. That would be appreciated. Um, and my, you can visit my blog at chadt4.wordpress.com. Follow me on Twitter to get the latest news on new videos, blog posts, and live recordings. My username is at chadt4. That's all for this video, and have a great day.